As a hydroponic grower, traditionally, like for 35 years, I've really had a lot of control over the nutrient availability to plants that I've been growing for, um, for income. But now I'm working with soil, having in the greenhouse built the soil for these fruit trees. And I've been learning about regenerative agriculture and the importance of microbes as I've seen some deficiencies happening on some of my plants. So these are two Johnson Sioux bioreactors and I'm going to put a link on that in the notes, the description of this video, so that you can look it up. I think this is a really fabulous um, way to start working with soils and making sure plants get what they need. I'll leave it up to you to read about that. So in the background you can see the swimming pools this year because we've had so much rain during the summer. I'm actually only down 15,000 gallons. Normally I would be down about oh, getting close to 40,000 at this time of year, but the rain just keeps coming. So it's cooler though, and that's had a definite effect on the plants. Some of them are only just in the last few weeks starting to get through their difficulties from the winter. And this is an example right here of this uh, grapefruit. This is a cocktail that got planted late in the season last year and looking really rough. And I was just thinking, oh my goodness, maybe you don't even want to live. And then poof, all this new growth happening now. So I know it wants to live and I will take care of it. Here's another one. Meanwhile, I'm growing all of this uh, arugula and veggies all around them. The bees are loving the flowers. I just integrate my veggies in with this a pink lemonade there. And uh, over here a moral blood orange that's still trying to get it together. It's looking way better. Still a little chlorotic. But it's going to make it. So I wanted to show you here, these, these are all plants that were put in last year and later in the year. And you can see there is an avocado, uh, sorry, a pomegranate forming up very nicely. Both the inside pomegranates and the ones I have outside are flowering this year at the same time, which means that probably not going to mature outside, but inside, I, I noticed that every year after I put in plants that um, they tend to flower early and earlier as they adjust to this environment. These are the Musa, this is actually the dwarf Namwa, prolific, so many pups, no fruit yet, so I keep thinking that bulge there is going to turn into some fruit. Passion fruit loaded up all over the pool and this is a plant people freak out about they say oh my god look at those avocados but no they're pomelos they're just huge about two pounds and they'll they'll get a lot bigger there they are and just show you here's this uh burner that i've made for having comfortable evenings out here and this is running with uh, methane from the digester. It's just fabulous. It's really clean, nice burn, good heat. That's what I wanted to show today. It's a little kumquat. And in the background, there's some um, more grapefruit forming up. Everything's pretty small still, but it'll all be ready in probably November, December.